I think open government needs a lot of different things to me. It's about creating a new space and frankly a new relationship between government and our San Franciscans. Uh, it's part about transparency, about making sure that government is truly open and that everyone knows what it is that city government's doing. Uh, in part, it's about collaboration. It's about allowing government to work with citizens to really innovate, to use data, uh, to really harness uh, people power uh, in a way that's often free to move government forward. And it's also about accountability. It's about how we are not only transparent and we're innovating, uh, but we, by the information that we put out to the public, uh, we are holding ourselves accountable to what it is that we are supposed to be delivering because the public can see it and they can measure it and they can, uh, and they can learn and grow off that. Before I became an elected official, for eight years I helped to found and then I ran a technology company uh, that was focused on improving communications between citizens and government. And when I came into office a couple years ago as president of the Board of Supervisors, I was frankly shocked at the state of technology in our city government. Given our proximity to Silicon Valley, uh, I was really surprised at how a lot of our technologies and our, a lot of our technological thinking is really stuck in 20th century thinking. Over the past couple years, I've been pushing a lot of reforms in the area of information technology. So for example, we currently have seven different email platforms that we use that make it very hard for city workers to communicate with each other. I'm working to help consolidate that to one single platform. We've had several dozen data centers in the city which have been very expensive, duplicative, uh, and not a good way for us to use our resources. Uh, I'm helping to move the city to two data centers for the entire city. We haven't had uh, any capital planning for our IT systems, uh, and last year I passed legislation to require the city to have, on a rolling basis, five-year capital plans. I think there's so much more that we can do. Uh, in 2009, I passed a piece of legislation to deal with people's frustration when it comes to not knowing which lobbyists are actually lobbying city officials. And now people can go to a searchable database to see exactly who is influencing whom when it comes to particular issues. I also heard in recent years frustrations with women, with members of various diverse communities that were frustrated about what they viewed as a lack of diversity in our commission appointments process. We have hundreds of commissioners who are appointed every year uh, and a lot of folks felt shut out from that process. I passed a piece of legislation to require uh, an online searchable database so that anyone can see what commission positions are coming open and exactly who is being appointed to these commissions so that we have data to analyze about the diversity of our city's commissions. I think there's an awful lot that city and county of San Francisco can continue to do to really bring about open government. I think we need to release more data sets to the public. Uh, last year I supported legislation that is now law that allows and encourages city departments to put data sets out on the web. We've put over 100 data sets out to the public. We've had almost 50 different applications that have been layered on top of this. I think that's a great uh, development that we need to continue. Uh, we also need to do more by way of crowdsourcing, using technologies to harness uh, not just the brain power of one city worker sitting in a cubicle, but the brain power of hundreds of San Francisco residents weighing in with ideas um, and including new ideas. I also think uh, that we need to do a better job of using social media. We have dozens of city workers whose job it is to promote what the city is doing, but they're using 20th century techniques, press releases, press conferences, and we need to retrain some of these folks as well as bring in new city employees that know how to use social media to really reach out to all San Franciscans, to use Facebook and Twitter, uh, online videos and blogging to really get the message out and get feedback from San Francisco on how we can do things better. I think there are a ton of ideas that I would like to implement as our city's next mayor. First of all, I think it's incredibly important that we be releasing a lot more data sets. Uh, one data set I'd like the entire public to know is every time city government spends money on anything, anytime we cut a check, anytime 
uh, we make any expenditure, I think that information ought to be immediately accessible to the public so that we really can get some transparency on how we're spending our dollars. We've heard a lot of horror stories of overspending uh, in areas that we shouldn't, and I think that would really help uh, to help uh, rein that in. There have also been a lot of San Franciscans that are very frustrated with the bureaucracy around permits when it comes to uh, building a new building, trying to uh, move forward through the planning process, as well as licenses uh, when small business owners are trying to uh, open up their business or expand their business. And I think it's critical that we have an online system that allows us to track the progress of applications for licenses or permits. So we know exactly how long things take, how many city employees had to touch a certain piece of paper before they processed it. Uh, we have been pushing for a number of years to see these types of systems happen uh, and our next mayor has to make sure that these, uh, that these applications are put online. I also think uh, that we really need to take advantage of crowdsourcing uh, when it comes to taking care of things in our neighborhood. So for example, right now, most rank and file police officers walking the beats on the streets don't have email addresses. Uh, there's no way for San Franciscans to reach their local police officer. Not only do we have to get these police officers online, we need a system uh, so that citizens, when they see something happening, they can immediately text something in, they can email something in, and give that feedback not just to local stations, but to local individual beat officers. I think similarly, uh, we have a great 311 system that allows us to call in the complaints that we may have about neighborhood issues. That information, I think, needs to be better displayed. We should use geotags so that elected officials and residents alike can see exactly what the problems are in our neighborhoods, whether it be the pothole at a particular location, the graffiti that's tagged a building, uh, the drug dealing that's happening around the corner, uh, the, the uh, building that's blighted. We need to have this data um, better accessible from anyone, not just on the internet, uh, but through any mode of communication that folks have. I also think uh, we have to do a better job of connecting uh, local city departments and so city workers with their neighborhoods uh, to ensure that everyone is receiving as much information as they need from the ground level. Uh, what I hear all the time is that residents feel extremely disconnected from all of the bureaucracies that the $6.5 billion, 26,000 employee, 50 plus department, city and county of San Francisco city government uh, is, is or is not doing. And we need to use technologies and open data sets and crowdsourcing and social media uh, to really ensure that city government is accountable, uh, is responsive, and is collaborating with our local residents.